If your furnace turns on and off repeatedly for short bursts of time and doesn't allow the house to reach its proper temperature, it is short cycling. In other words, the heating cycle and the resting cycle are each too short for the furnace to accomplish anything. So here are five things you need to know if your furnace is short cycling. A dirty air filter is one of the most common causes of a short cycling furnace. If the air filter is clogged with dirt, it doesn't allow the proper airflow that's needed for the heat exchanger in the furnace. This causes the furnace to overheat and forces the high limit switch on the furnace to override and shut it off completely. When it cools, the furnace will restart and the cycle will continue again and again. So you can easily prevent this type of short cycling by simply changing the air filter on the furnace. As a matter of fact, this air filter should be cleaned or replaced every month to allow the furnace to operate at maximum capacity. If the filter was clean and didn't need to be replaced, then the next best step is to eliminate any issues with the thermostat. So like any piece of mechanical equipment, it's not perfectly reliable and may need attention once in a while. If your thermostat isn't working properly, it could be telling the furnace to shut off prematurely. So to fix this issue, shut off your thermostat and open up the furnace and then replace the batteries on the thermostat. Now turn the system back on and monitor it as it runs for an hour to see if the problem is fixed. You may also want to consider the location of your thermostat. If it's near a heat register, a space heater, or even direct sunlight, it can be affected from the heat of the heater or the sun and thus turn off the furnace prematurely before the entire room has actually reached the desired temperature. Another common problem that can occur with a short cycling furnace is that there could be poorly insulated rooms in the home which is allowing the heat to escape. So the furnace ends up firing back up to heat the home all over again. Also, when you're checking rooms, make sure to check the windows to see if any of them are open or are not properly sealed. If air is escaping, you may need to do some caulking around the frames to keep that warm air trapped indoors. If the three previous solutions didn't help, there could be certain parts in the furnace blower or flame sensor that is causing issues for the furnace. If your blower motor is off, the heat exchangers won't be warming air and may become too hot, causing the furnace to actually shut off. If this is the case, air won't blow through the vents or if it does, it'll be quite weak. So you can simply test this by putting your hand in front of a vent and check the level of airflow that's coming through. The other part's issue could be that the flue is blocked, which means heated gases aren't escaping properly and the furnace's flue limit switch is causing the system to shut off before the flue actually gets too hot. So usually this can mean there's a blockage in the flue. For example, an animal may have built a home in the opening. So if this is the case, we highly recommend that you get it checked and cleared out by a professional. Finally, if your furnace's ignition system isn't working properly and doesn't produce a flame within four seconds, the flame sensor will shut down the system. Again, we highly recommend that you get a professional to check this out if you believe this to be the case. If you've just moved into your home and find that the furnace is short cycling regularly, it's possible that your HVAC system is actually too large for your home. If the system has greater heating power than is needed, it will ultimately heat your house rapidly and then shut down and then turn back on again soon after and over and over again. Over time, your energy bill is ultimately gonna be higher because of this, since the system will be using more power turning on and off frequently than it would if it just ran constantly. It also results in a lot more wear and tear on your system and ultimately a shorter lifespan too. This is another issue where we highly recommend that you contact an HVAC professional for their assistance. So once you've identified the problem and fixed it with or without a professional, your furnace should be back to doing its job properly. And if you're looking for other home improvement tips and resources, be sure to check out these other videos here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.